Mm -hmm. Great. Now I just want to watch the history of everything again. <laughs> there we go. I've done my job. Ah, uh, that's 20 minutes of your fucking bliss. I know. It's great. But yeah, guys. <laughs> So we had, uh, it was back in the day, and we had we were in this D&D &D game, this D&D &D game, and so, long story short, our characters were going to try and attack this white dragon, but it was really t powerful, and we needed to get the jump on it, so we took a job from it to go cut off some, like, troll or ogre's head, and so we did that, but then we decided, let's not actually give it the head, let's make our gnome look like the, look like the ogre's head. So the dragon gets the, the gnome illusioned as the ogre's head and is like, huh, I'm going to put this on this spike in my room. And then the gnome pops out of the illusion, trips the dragon with the spell, and everyone proceeds to just beat the living hell out of the dragon. So the dragon tries to get back up and then gets tripped again. So the dragon's just sitting there like, oh, he's like, just imagine. He's standing there, he's getting ready to put this head on, on a spike, and then the head turns into a person, like... Knocks him to the oh, ground. Oh He's like, oh, oh, oh my oh. god! Oh no! Oh, what's happening? Everyone's curb stopping. Like everyone's just kicking him when he's on the ground. He's like, oh, what is, what is going on? Oh, oh. And then he died. Oh, oh, oh. You all betrayed me. I didn't see it coming. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You've returned. What sight awaits you within the manor? What has Lady Amadine? What has become of Lady Amadine? Well, you she, must tell me all. Lot, her face got a lot better. We finally healed. She. So. She went so far as to consort with devils. With that, I have. Bleh. With that, I could have done more to prevent her fall. May she finally find peace in the beyond. I know not whether the masked men that you encountered are the same pair that first led my lady astray, but it's plain that they are the same vile blood. Should the chance ever present itself, promise me that you'll visit upon them and fold the woe that you have brought upon that they have brought upon others. But whom am I speaking of punishment? My silence. I've allowed I know not how many innocent young women to die in unspeakable circumstances. It matters not wherefore. Though so, this place loyalty cowardice, or both. I am an abhorrent to gross crimes. Oh. No. A better to gross crimes. I will surrender myself to authorities and accept whatever punishment they deem so. Yes. I pray that the gods will have mercy on my soul. Bird. 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 Your shirt is green. <laughs> I was just about to go for that. <laughs> we attack the boss and we, and we start. Like the boss has a, just a bunch of like little health bars all over them, like Titans, Crest, this thing, that thing. They're all just called little pyramids. And every time you tear one <laughs> off, he's just like. <laughs> the the the, uh, the warrior of light opens his mouth and his tongue has a little <laughs> little face on the on, on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Fen. Full glad am I to see you safely returned. Tell me, how fared your sojourn into the Twelveswood? Two of Lahabrea's minions? 
And they sought to measure your strength by their own admission? The devils taunt us. It is beyond doubt, then. The Asians have begun to move in earnest. Would that we knew to what end. Yet I will not bemoan our plight. Thanks to your tireless efforts, we are at least aware of the encroaching darkness. Alas, we can only do we can only do so much. It is clear to me that it is clear to me now that we scions are too few to protect the realm against this against this threat unaided. We must needs alert the three nations to the presence of this elusive enemy, and recommend that they heighten their vigil. There is no shortage of misery in the world that the Asians might exploit. We have an arduous struggle ahead of us. Yet come what may, we must not allow ourselves to become lost to hope, for that is precisely what the enemy desires. We have gleamed all we can from the information available to us. Let us set the investigation aside for the present. Another matter has arisen that requires your attention. Let us know and let me know when you are ready, ready to be briefed, and I will summon the others. And I think that's a good stopping.